I'm Eric R. Kristoff of Hover and Smile. Tonight, we're going to be talking about mixing and the combat flyer, typically called Elevon mixing. We're going to look at some of the different ways you can make that mixing work for your Delta Wing style flyer. So we're talking RC mixing, not two turntables and a microphone mixing, although you might be able to lay down some fresh beats either way. <laughs> Before we get into any mixing terminology, let's take a look at why we would need mixing on a delta wing flyer. A standard delta wing flyer doesn't have separate elevator and aileron control surfaces. I only have these two. So if I were to have, say, a servo hooked up to my elevator and aileron channel on my receiver without mixing, and I give elevator, I only move one control surface. Same for the aileron, only moving one. But with a delta wing flyer, since I don't have separate elevator and aileron control surfaces, they're called elevons, I need to make these elevons move together, hence the need for the mixing. What that will give me with mixing turned on is elevator movement moves both control surfaces and aileron movement moves both control surfaces the opposite way so I can roll. And of course the elevator will change your pitch. So let's take a look at the different types of mixing available. Now, when I talk about different types of mixing, I'm not talking about delta wing mixing versus flat mixing. I'm talking about how to actually make mixing happen at all. There's three primary ways to do it. One of them is mechanical, which we're not really going to cover here, but that would mean I would actually have to have the aileron and elevator servo mounted near together, have the elevator servo actually move the aileron servo. Now, that's mechanical mixing because all of my elevon mixing is done by actual servo movement of a servo itself, as well as the arms. We're not going to cover that here. We're going to cover your typical pragmatic way, the electronic way, to do your mixing. Now, there's two ways to do that. One is with a V-tail mixer. This is just a little device that hooks into your elevator and aileron receiver end, and then your servos hook into here, which then gives you that mixing built in with this little circuit on the, on the board here. The reason you would need that is if you're using a transmitter that does not have mixing programmatic capability. This transmitter here does not. So I would need a V-tail mixer or I would have to use mechanical mixing to make the Elevons work the way they should. However, if you've got like a DX6, a Spectrum DX7, the Airtronics SD10G, other programmatic transmitters, you can program mixing directly into the transmitter. You're going to be looking for terms such as wingtail mix and you're going to want to select Elevon or delta wing style mixing. We're going to look at how to actually customize that mixing on an example transmitter, how to program it manually if you don't have delta wing or elevon mixing, but it's so common that you typically do. So if you have a delta wing flyer, what are you looking for in terms of a mixing? How do you know you've got the mix right? Because you still might have it hooked up on an opposite channel here. You might have to reverse a servo. What you're looking for is with delta wing mixing, if I give full elevator down, pushing down on my stick, both control surfaces should go up. If I push forward on my elevator, both control surfaces should go down. If I push full right aileron, the right control surface should go up and the left should go down. This is the way it's acting just like an aileron is. And if I give full left aileron on my stick, the left control surface is flipping up and the right control surface is flipping down. Combined, I can do all the mixing I need to do and be able to fly a delta wing flyer by giving it pitch with the elevator as also rolling with the ailerons. Now, when you're flying a delta wing flyer, it's also kind of important to note that if you're banking, typically you're going to just dive right into the ground if you just do nothing but bank. You need to give it just a little bit of elevator while you're banking. That kind of smooths these control surfaces out a little bit instead of making them completely opposite. It actually will raise your lower control surface up so that you're giving it elevator while you're banking. That helps in the flight. Now that's also one of the reasons why mixing is really required here because if it was just pure aileron only and the elevator only, I really wouldn't be able to do a lot of banking turns while still giving it some elevator input so that it would bank gently instead of banking so swift that it just dies right into the ground. 
Here's an example where we're going to use mixing with this little V-tail mixer here, purchased online for just a few bucks. It's the perfect example to get Elevon mixing if you do not have a transmitter capable of doing that mixing. Now, my Airtronics does, but I've disabled it just for the sake of this discussion. What I've done is removed the servos from my elevator and aileron channels on my receiver. Instead, you put the VTAIL mixer connectors on the elevator and aileron channels. There's a little marker on the VTAIL mixer that says elevator and aileron. You put that into your receiver, and the output pins on your VTAIL mixer is where the servos plug into. So the VTAIL mixer sits in between your receiver and your servos. Connecting those two together, I now have control and Elevon mixing. See how I'm using the elevator and now both are moving instead of the, just the single control surface. And same way with the aileron for banking. Now what you might get if you hook these up, if I pull back on the elevator, these control surfaces should flip up, but they're flipping down. Sometimes you might need to reverse the connections a little bit on your receiver or the servos itself. So if I just go through my elevator and aileron and reverse those servos, now we're working just fine. I pull back on the elevator stick, the control surfaces go up, push forward, they go down. If I give right aileron, the right surface goes up, the left is down. If I give left aileron, the left surface is up and the right is down. So that's how you use just a simple VTAIL mixer solution if you do not have a transmitter capable of programming Delta Wing or AKA Elevon mixing. Now, unfortunately, I don't necessarily own the transmitter that you do. So although it's not always going to equate specifically with menu selection and the exact titles of things, if you want to program your transmitter to do this mixing, and let's say define mixing as the mapping of transmitter input to multiple channels. Primarily, if you're giving just aileron or elevator movement, you're really only modifying one servo. You're really only commanding one servo to move. Mixing says that, well, let's take stick movement and apply it to multiple channel outputs. That means making more than one servo move at once. On this example of a Spectrum receiver and a DX7 transmitter, I've got mixing disabled. Now, if you want to set mixing up on your transmitter and it programmatically supports it, it's got an option in there, you're going to want to look for things like wing mixing, wing type mix. It's usually going to be in the setup lists of your, of your transmitter and you're gonna look for the option for Delta Wing or Elevon mixing. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't necessarily have a transmitter, so I can't necessarily show you what exact menu option it's gonna be, but that's what you're gonna be looking for. And as soon as you activate that, your elevator and your aileron channels are gonna start moving, the servos are gonna start moving your control surfaces at the same time. Now, it may not move the exact way that we showed you, but what you'll have to do is look at maybe servo reversing or swapping the channels on your servos here to get that proper movement of pulling back in the elevator and having both control surfaces flip up and so on and so forth. Let's take a look though, just to introduce how you could manually program mixing in. Say I have a transmitter that's capable of mixing, but does not have built-in Elevon or Delta Wing mixing. So how would we actually manually create a mix? We're gonna use the DX7 and show you how that's done. So here we have a DX7 as an example transmitter. We're gonna pretend this does not have Elevon mixing built in. So we're gonna manually program Elevon mixing in. And you can see if I rotate the camera over and I give it elevator, that's the control surface that moves. If I give it aileron, that's the control surface that moves. They are both independent channels, but we wanna link them together to be more like Elevon mixing. So if I go into my menu, just as an example, and I scroll to program mix one, we're going to go into that option, and right now, by default, it's INH, which means inhibited. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit a selection to turn it on. Now, for the DX7, automatically switch on, meaning the mix is automatically on and not done by a switch, and there's no offsets. That's going to be very transmitter-specific. We want to get just to the details of setting up your Elevon mixing. So let's say we mix the elevator to the aileron first. So right now, I'm on the gear channel. I'm going to mix gear movement to aileron. Well, we don't want that. We want elevator to aileron. So I'm going to select elevator. We're already on aileron, so that's good. And this first mix, we're actually going to do two mixes. We're going to mix the elevator to the aileron and the aileron to the elevator. We're going to mix against each other. And it's kind of interesting, but it does work. So as determining the rates go, with the DX7, if I move my stick up and down, the little arrow moves with my mix. Also, the control surface moves. So let's just see, this is why it's great to have trial and error on a workbench, because unless I'm, I wouldn't want to do this out in the field unless I could actually test it first. So let's move our rate all the way, let's say up to 100, okay? So what that means is that as I move my stick up, 
that's to the up position here, I should now get both control surfaces moving. But are they moving the right way? Well, let's take a look. If I move my control surface all the way up, I see one moving properly, but not the other. The other, they're moving in opposite. But they are now both moving together. So we're, we're kind of there. But I want them to move the right way. So maybe plus 100 wasn't the way to go. And the whole difference between the plus and the minus here is whether or not it's the movement here is a more negative movement from center for the servo or positive. And that's why a lot of times, especially depending on your servos and your transmitter, uh, negative can mean one on one transmitter and positive on another. So it's always good to just test these things out. So we're going to scroll all the way back down and move to the negative side and see what that does for us. All right, so now I'm negative. And that's just on the up movement. So we'll move back over and we'll move the stick up. And guess what? They're now both moving the proper way. So that's taking elevator movement and mapping that same output to my aileron servo. That's what the elevator to aileron mixing is all about. So now we want to move the stick down. Right now, if I move the stick down, no control surface moves because the mixing is not set up. So now we want to do the down movement. So now I move my stick down just a little bit, just enough to get the plus sign to move here or the arrow to move here. And I also do the same negative movement. And now I should get elevator up and down movement combined with both control surfaces. And that's exactly what we want. Elevator is now moving both control surfaces. But if I give it aileron movement, I still only get one control surface moving. This is why we need a second mix. So this is all set up from an elevator standpoint, but now I need to get the mix set up from this standpoint. So we're going to move to program mix two, which is currently not doing anything. We're going to select, now remember program mix one was elevator to aileron. So program mix two is gonna be aileron to elevator. Now that's switched on. Now we need to do the same thing on the rate. So I'm gonna scroll down and let's just say, let's give it negative first and see what happens. So this means aileron movement is going to have a effect on my elevator servo. So if I move now, you can see if I move left aileron, I'm, I'm in this top part of the mix. And if I move my aileron to the right just a little bit, the arrow goes down here. So this is the current part that's gonna be affected. So if I move my stick to the right, what happens? They both go down. Well, that's not proper. That's going to be more like elevator movement. I need them to be opposite. So this is not going to work. So I need to go positive. So we're going to move this just a little bit over. And instead of doing negative, we're going to do positive mix. Now, if I move my aileron to the right, I get the opposite movement of the control surfaces. They're moving just the way I want them to. I want them to be opposite. I move the stick to the right, this control surface goes up, and this control surface went down. So that's perfect. So now we need to make sure the other side works, and we're going to then move the aileron stick just over a little bit so we can hit the opposite end of the mix, because really what you're doing here is you're dealing with opposite ends of your center position of your stick. So we're going to make this positive as well. And now we move to the ailerons to the left, and guess what? They're moving the proper way. So now we've got, just in this example, we've got elevon mixing set up. I'm going to give down elevator. That makes both surfaces move up. I push up on the elevator stick. They both move down. If I give right on the aileron, they move opposite, but in the right way. And if I give left on the aileron, they still move opposite, but also in the correct way. And you can see then that the elevator to aileron mixing is now working Although we did not select a delta wing mix, we manually made it happen on our transmitter. So this is just a way to do it manually if your transmitter does not support Elevon or delta wing mixing right out of the box. And it also kind of introduced you here to playing around with some of these options. You can change a lot of your mixes. You can mix things like elevator to elevator, rudder to elevator, gear, ailerons, throttle. You can do all sorts of different mixings. But it's great to do it in a test environment at home, when you're working on the plane, not out of the field, not while you're flying. Test the mix so that when you're giving all the right movements of the stick, your plane is acting as it should be. So once again, a great way to kind of just introduce yourself to mixing here. Play around with your transmitter a bit. If you don't like it, you can always just turn the mixing off. And now both mixes are shut off and they both work as independent control surfaces once again. I'm Eric R. Kristoff of Hover and Smile. Tonight we did a quick little overview of mixing a delta wing flyer, but also just a little bit of mixing in its own right. It's taking one channel's input and applying it to another channel. In the delta wing case, we applied elevator to aileron mixing as well as aileron to elevator mixing to give us that 
good multiple control surface movement. So remember there are just three ways to mix. You can do mechanical mixing, you can do V-tail mixing with that little V-tail that we had, hooking that up in between your receiver and your servos, or if you've got a programmatic transmitter, which most of us do nowadays, you can just program it within the transmitter. Make sure you do it in a test environment so you're not doing it out the field and then you're missing something that you might need. It's always good to consider as well, if your mixing isn't working the way you think it should, then maybe you need to reverse your servos. You might need to reverse an elevator or an aileron servo, or you might need to swap the elevator and aileron ports on your receiver. So play around with those settings and you should be able to get the hang of it. Once again, I'm Eric R. Kristoff of Hover and Smile. Thanks for watching.